Man, I do not like going to the grocery store. Like, what in the world? back to another vlog we is back with another vlog but not just any vlog girl we back with a day vlog again ah! i'm excited y'all so i decided to just start picking up the camera and just vlog <sighs> just just do it just do it like nike say bitch just do it he ain't say the bitch but he did say just do it anyway today is tuesday i do have my invisalign in because you know, I was not wearing it for two days. Like, who am I? I feel like now since my teeth all straight, I think I'm like, <laughs> I don't know who I think I am, but I ain't been wearing my retainers, y'all. So I wanted to show y'all some behind the scenes today of me filming my podcast episode. I had to go to the grocery store. I had to drop two packages off. I had to go work out. Y'all, I got a lot of stuff to do. So I decided to just turn on the camera and bring y'all with me. But first, we had to go to Starbucks because I want to get a large cup of ice water for my um for my chlorophyll water so i have not drank my celsius yet ah! y'all already know i told y'all about this one in the last vlog so this is a tropical vibe um i was gonna drink coffee from starbucks today but i was like i don't know if i want coffee i think this is what's gonna do plus this saved me money so let's go ahead and Crack that bad boy open. Y'all, I love these. Oh, my God. Ah, it just does something to the body, to the soul. So, I'm going to get a large cup of ice water, y'all. And I'll check in with y'all when we about to work out. Y'all, it's hot as a mother sucker. I think I want to do everything while I'm out because when I go back home, I have to start filming. So, what is it? It's already 1 o'clock, y'all. It is already 1 o'clock. I had a late start this morning, but it's all good. So, I'm going to go drop these two packages off. I have two returns that I need to make. And then, we are going to go to the market. So, I chat with y'all. Y'all see me taking the packages or either we going to talk when we get to the market. We are here. Time to go grocery shopping. Oh, crrr. Y'all, oh my gosh. Man, I do not like going to the grocery store. Like, what in the world? Mm. Anyway, I got to drop off two packages, and then we are going home, okay? We are going home. So i see y'all when I get back to the crib. What's up, y'all? It's been some hours. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't leave y'all hanging after the market, but... I had to take care of some business, but I did film my podcast episode. I wanted to give y'all a little bit of behind the scenes a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I only have one camera, so I couldn't completely like film me filming the podcast episode, but I can add like a clip in here, which I will show y'all. And I also want to show y'all really quick my little setup or whatever like that. Mind you, I did just eat. I'm just saying. So I got some stuff on the table. <gasps> Oh, excuse me. I got some stuff on the table. I just had some tuna and some, um, what are these called? Rice cakes. So let me show y'all really quick. So first and foremost, if y'all have been following my vlogs already, y'all would have saw when I talked about the Sure mic that I got 
from um where did i get it from i think i got it from the sure website i will link the mic down below so let me get my little tripod um because i don't have it right now and then i'll show y'all my little setup or whatever like that one second so i do have one box light i have a ring light and then another box light then this is my podcast mic right here this is the oh those are my notes, y'all. Yeah, I'll show y'all those in a second. But this is the podcast mic that I use. It's a shirt microphone. Very, very, very good quality, y'all. I think I paid about $300 for this microphone. And I will link the one that I got specifically down in the description box below. These are my headphones that I use. Teskim is the, is the brand name. They were not expensive at all. I got them off of Amazon. I will also link them down in the description box below. They were about $45, if I'm not mistaken. This is my laptop. I plug in my microphone over here so that it can connect to the laptop and then I use the podcast studio app right here I do have a membership for it I think it's about ten dollars a month if I'm not mistaken but I record it on the podcast studio app and then I save the audio okay and then I put the audio in on iMovie and go ahead and put it at the bottom to match it up to the video the video is usually right here on this tripod but of course I'm using the camera but it does face me that is the setup right here is just a bunch of cords a bunch of stuff that i use for filming and then i just have like that little plant right there to kind of give me something in the background until i figure out what i really want to do on this wall pewter chair is from best buy or amazon i'm not sure i will link everything in the description box below if you are interested in starting your own podcast if you want to purchase the items that i use you have the option just click the links in the description box below but right at this moment i want to give y'all a little sneak peek of a clip from the podcast just so y'all can get like first dibs on it well kind of the podcast is already going to be out by the time you see this so but yeah one two three go one person cannot do everything for a child i just i just don't believe that that's possible like you can do your best absolutely i'm not saying your child cannot come out being the best that they can possibly be but if we're being realistic they're going to run into some type of problems in areas that they did not learn in because you cannot teach them because you're not the opposite sex it's really not fair granted things don't always work out but it's kind of like it's not fair to the child you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, shit happens. Like, it, let's be real. I, it's like, yeah, it would be ideal to grow up in a two parent household. But let's be realistic. You got to You got to make shit happen when you got to make shit happen. If shit ain't coming through the way they're supposed to. So what did y'all think? Like, it, it wasn't like a big clip, but y'all was still able to see somewhat of what I was talking about. So if you are interested, y'all can go and follow me on um, all the place podcasts on YouTube, Spotify, Anchor and um apple podcast so that is it as far as the behind the scenes y'all that's all i really had to do today i do have to film another video which will be the fall haul that i keep talking about y'all i enjoy doing clothing hauls i don't enjoy filming them they are a lot of work taking clothes off taking them girl it is just a lot it's just a lot so i'm gonna check in with y'all later i'm gonna go ahead and get this process and upload it put out there um make sure y'all go check it out oh before i go y'all i wanted to show y'all my notes so this is not like literally word for word for what i say on my podcast but i do like to get my ideas out there in regards to the topic that i'm talking about that day so as you can see this is the topic and then it's not organized y'all so don't be like judging me but i just wanted to get like some things out of my brain onto paper so that when i'm speaking i kind of speak with the flow yeah this kind of some notes to pinpoint to kind of like make sure i hit everything that i want to talk about what's up y'all we is back on the cam so i tied my hair down touched my eyebrows up and everything like that so i'm about to film another video now after my podcast and this is the fall try on haul not that many pieces y'all but i do want to go ahead and get this out of the way while i'm already in the mood also if you are watching this video and you also watch my try on haul videos make sure y'all let me know in the comments below what kind of way do you like the try on hauls do you like where you know you talk like da, 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 and then you have like a little side piece where you see me trying on the outfit or would you rather me try it on and talk about it while i have it on or <laughs> would y'all like a voiceover with me showing you what it on or last but not least would you like for me to sit down and talk about it and then still have something on the side showing me that i'm wearing it i don't know let me go ahead and start working i just wanted to update y'all a little bit and yeah i see y'all when i'm done Peace. Peace. what's up y'all so i do have clothes on i just wanted to make sure y'all did see that but this is all the clothes y'all i just did the haul i am hungry so i'm gonna make me a salad really quick 
and I am going to show y'all how I make my salad. I think I showed y'all before, but for anybody that's new here, let's just go make a salad and y'all see how I make my salad. I feel like I got all the ingredients that I really want in my salad. It's just that I don't have, oh, I got some tuna. Yes, I did get tuna, girl. Okay, let's go make a salad real quick. All right, y'all, so we're in the kitchen now. I'm about to make me a salad. This is the salad mix that I'm using. It's by Market Side, which I believe is Walmart's brand. I get the spinach and spring mix. I don't know if y'all can see. That's how that looks. I also like to put a little bit of spinach in there, even though it's spinach already in here. Another thing I like to put in my salad, y'all, are strawberries. Y'all, strawberries go bad so damn fast, but I'm gonna put some strawberries in there, and I think I want some tomato and cucumber. These are like must-haves in your salad y'all i mean you can't have a salad without tomatoes and cucumbers right i mean some people not into like tomatoes and cucumbers but for me i'm gonna eat tomatoes and cucumbers in my salad i'm gonna also use some of this parmesan shredded cheese i just got this and for my dressing y'all i just use lemon juice and olive oil i don't do nothing else for real i don't even have any other kind of dressing so i also put in one pack of tuna this is my favorite one y'all the garlic and the herb and then i have a little bit of croutons i want to throw in there not a lot because croutons y'all know is still considered bread but this is the cheese and garlic croutons by Texas Toast Bussin. And then I like to do the Blue Diamond Whole Natural Almonds. If y'all can see. These are the only almonds that I eat. I don't do the salted and all that. Nah, we don't do none of that. Last but not least, I'm going to put one apple in there. Um, I got some of these green apples, so... I'm gonna just throw it in there since I have them and then that's it. So let's go ahead and make the salad real quick. First and foremost, we are going to do the cucumber first. I don't use the whole cucumber, I just use half of it. So I can't leave them round like this, but they are gonna be big to eat like that. So we're not gonna leave them like that. We're gonna cut them in half again and then again after that. So now we are going to cut the tomato. I usually just cut the two sides off and then just leave the rest for another time. And that's what we are going to do. So I usually use about three strawberries, not a lot, but they do cut up really small. So it still will be enough inside of the salad. Okay, so let me clean this off again and we're gonna cut up our apples. So now I'm just gonna cut this apple up. I'm just gonna cut off the sides, not the whole entire apple. So far, this is how it looks. Don't be judging my bowl, y'all, but as y'all can clearly see, this salad is gonna last me at least three servings, three or four servings. So I'm not gonna put the dressing on here just yet. I'm not gonna do a lot of cheese, y'all. That's just enough. I'm gonna leave the salad like this, shake it up really good, and then I'm gonna take out the portion that I'm gonna eat right now, and then I'll add my tuna croutons and dressing. The only reason why I'm not adding a dressing, obviously, right now is because I don't want the salad to be wet because I still will have a lot left to eat maybe tomorrow or the next day after that. Anyway, that is everything I put in my salad, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, chill, relax, probably edit the video that I just filmed a little bit, and then I will check in with y'all.